and it's time for people to actually get to see what you're capable of. Every day, every Saturday, it's probably hundred, hundreds of games going on. People don't really get to see you, and then on that one goal game, might be one or two games on that day, and people will actually get to see you play. How much did you hear uh, in the Notre Dame game, just from people? From I mean, that talk about a lot of people who saw it. I mean, that got a lot of attention. Yeah, I mean, everybody was calling my phone, texting my phone. I had like 200 some messages, which was kind of weird. And uh, they were just hitting my line. Everybody tweeting me, which was cool. It was like some famous people, so I was kind of actually pretty happy. And Reggie Bush tweeted me, so that was that was big for me. And um, yeah, everybody just hit my phone up. Some people still do when I see them. They're like, oh, that Notre Dame game was a good game. I'm like, well, dang, I got the Rose Bowl coming up. So I gotta, can't be thinking about too much about the Notre Dame game. I, haven't, I don't think about it. Let somebody bring it back up. Well, something to bring it up. <laughs> As that's happening, do you realize, like, if you're a basketball player and you've got 40 points at halftime, you know, I mean, as that's happening, do you realize how special what's going on is? Uh, I don't think I was realizing at the moment. I was trying to keep it in the end zone. Uh, I should have scored another one. I dropped a pass, and um, that was just on me, so I should have had four. But at the time, I wasn't really thinking. I was just trying to do whatever I could. Uh, it was for the seniors. I, mean, I wanted them to have that shillelagh and the, the victory belt together and then go out with a bang, so... I'm just thinking whatever I can do to help the team out and just help out for the team uh, with three touchdowns. Are you surprised when teams kick to you now? Uh, not really. I mean, I think they just want to see how really good I am. So they just kick it and try to test me. I mean, it's evident. They kick it, hot, sky kick it, or whatever. Um, it's cool with me. I don't really care. Kick it to me or not. Um, got faith in offense. Whatever we do, get the ball. If I score or don't. Offense is going to do a great job, so I'm not shocked anymore because uh, it's been a trend. People keep kicking me the ball. T said, make him pay. Sorry. T, uh, T said that Juju at one point had the opportunity to be back on kickoff returns but wanted to be a blocker for you instead. Did you guys talk about that at all? <laughs> no, I didn't talk about that. Um, he was back there my freshman year. I didn't, I think, so last year. I can't remember. But this year he just ended up going up on the front line. I, I didn't ask him. What happened? I, he just said, I guess he wants somebody else to return, but that's pretty cool. I mean, that speaks for his character type person he is, selfish, selfishness, and um, want to help the team out as much as possible. I mean, big guy can block anybody. I want to think like two something. Yeah. Pretty good blocker. Yeah. One more here. Great blocker. Midway through fall camp, you were talking about how you were really looking forward to this season because of John Baxter and, and what he was bringing to the special teams. Can you just talk a little bit about what, what you were seeing? Uh, just what he brings out to the table, uh, what he talks about in the meetings, and uh, basically it translates to everything. It's just not a special teams thing. It can go from on the offense side of the ball and the defense side of the ball, and just us understanding football more, trying to be better prepared and playing smarter. So him coming to the team has just made us uh, that more dynamic on uh, all three phases of the ball, helping us out offensively, defensively, and on special teams. Thanks, bro. Thanks.